Big news, folks. The moment many of you have been waiting for has finally arrived. The jumbo rate cut is here, and it's going to shake things up in a big way. Have you been holding off waiting for those interest rates to drop before making your move in real estate? Well, it's time to get excited because this might be the news that turns your plans into reality. The Bank of Canada has just made a huge announcement in its October 2024 policy decision, and they've slashed interest rates by half a percentage point. Yeah, you heard that right. The key policy rate is now down to 3.75%. And by the way, I'm Curtis Renasi, a real estate agent here in Ottawa. And if you're thinking about buying or selling, or you're just curious about the market, make sure you smash that subscribe button for more valuable real estate content like this. I'm going to help you make the best moves in this ever-changing market. Now, let's dive into what's going on and what it means for you. This major rate cut follows the release of September's inflation report, which showed consumer price index rising at just 1.6%, the slowest pace we've seen since early 2021. This sluggish inflation has clearly pushed the Bank of Canada to take a more aggressive action. And over the past few months, the central bank has been tiptoeing around rate cuts, dropping by just a quarter point in June, July, and September. But those small cuts didn't quite ignite the housing market the way that many had hoped. Now, with the economy showing signs of weakness, they pulled the trigger on a 50 basis point cut. The economy is not going to grow as fast as expected, with experts now predicting 1 to 1.5% growth for Q3, way below the 2.8% originally forecasted. In fact, Royce Mendez, the managing director at Desjardins, called it out saying the Bank of Canada needs to flip the script. Called the 1% growth over the past year appalling, especially since our working population grew by 3.5% in that exact same time. So the big question is, what does this all mean for you as a home buyer or seller? Well, let's break it down. A 50 basis point cut means borrowing costs are dropping. For home buyers, this is a huge win. Lower interest rates mean cheaper mortgages. And if you've been waiting to get into the market, this can be your moment. Lower rates, lower monthly payments, and more buying power. Picture this. You were qualified for a $500,000 home before. With this rate cut, you might now qualify for something in the $520,000 to $530,000 range. That's more space, a better location, or maybe even that dream home that you thought was just out of reach. It's almost like your budget just got a raise. For sellers, don't think that you're left out of this. More buyers are entering the market means higher demand for homes. This can drive prices up and give you the edge to sell for top dollar. More competition can lead to multiple offers or even a faster sale. But, and here's where it gets interesting, there's a flip side. As more buyers flood the market, housing affordability might actually decrease over time. Why is that? Because more competition can lead to higher prices. So, if you're sitting on the sidelines for too long, you might find yourself priced out as home values continue to rise. The next few weeks will be critical if housing prices don't shoot up. It'll mean that the real cost of buying a home is going down, which is fantastic for buyers. But if prices spike, it might feel like a missed opportunity. So I want to know, what do you think? Do you expect housing prices to rise with the latest move from the Bank of Canada? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And remember, whether you're buying, selling, or you're just curious, stay tuned to this channel for more updates. Now can be your time to make a move.